Boy, y'all are rough, man. I saw the Ravens tweet out, we have signed running back Nate McCrary to a reserve future deal. First response I see, this ain't Greg Roman being fired. I'm like, man. But anyway, YouTube team, keep it clean. Uh, what's going on? It's Engraven Hill with another video. And I appreciate y'all. Uh, we, as we approach um, 50,000 subscribers, uh, we about 500 away. Um, I, I appreciate everybody that's been supporting the channel. Um, new supporters, old supporters, just people that have been supporting. Because on here, we just, we don't know everything. I mean, we don't even know half of what's going on at the time. But it's just a place where we can come through. We can have fun conversations. We can speculate about this and that. We could talk about moves that are made. Of course, talk about the games. Talk about what we like, what we don't like. Um, just talk about everything. And it'd be a good time. And that's all it's about. And I appreciate y'all. Uh, I love y'all. Thank you for always being respectful. And thank you for making this thing so much fun. Um, now, Nate McCrary. Another example of stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. Now, Ravens, uh, it's, it's crazy how this thing just came full circle uh, for Nate McCrary. It, it's kind of wild when you think about it because Nate McCrary, he... He started off, we remember when J.K. went down, Gus Edwards went down, and Nate McCrary had just been coming off of this preseason where it was like, whoa! And Tyson Williams was coming off of this preseason where it was like, whoa! And Tyson Williams made the active roster, and Nate McCrary, uh, he made the practice squad. Uh, and, and that was as expected. Sorry, I got to turn off the watch. I don't need it beeping while we going over this stuff. But anyway, um... Now, when Nate McCray was on the practice squad, he was on there for a little bit. And then the Broncos were like, <laughs> they start sniffing around the Ravens practice squad. And they plucked Nate McCrary off Ravens practice squad. And they signed him to their active roster. Uh, he stayed there for a couple of weeks. And then um, they ended up signing, oh, I forgot what running back they signed. But they ended up cutting Nate McCrary. He was a free agent for a couple of weeks. Then Ravens ended up signing him back. To their practice squad And everybody's like oh yeah yeah welcome back Nate McCrary um, So he came through And then he was active for a couple of games uh, But then Toward the end of the season he got put On the uh, the COVID list And I think that ended his season He wasn't put on injury reserve but he was put on the COVID-19 list um, So he was out for the remainder of the year uh, But he was somebody that A lot of us thought Like the Ravens were going to try to get after. We were hoping that um, with Nate McCrary being on the roster, uh, being on a practice squad, excuse me, that he would be that call up because we saw him in preseason. We were like, oh, this guy, he got some. Uh, but the Ravens chose to go the veteran route with Devontae Freeman, with Latavius Murray, with Le'Veon Bell. And I say it, it worked out uh, with one out of the three. I know Latavius Murray, hey, he had a great game in the last game um, against the Steelers, but overall, I don't think it really worked out with him. There was a point where he was scoring touchdowns like every game earlier in the season, but I just don't think overall it really worked out like that. Uh, and, and the best way that I can explain that is, would you bring back Latavius Murray next year? And there you have it. Uh, so if you ask yourself that same question about Devontae Freeman, would you bring Devontae Freeman back next year? And obviously not as a starter, but as a depth guy and as an insurance policy, just in case anything is not all the way ready with both J.K. Dobbins and Gus Edwards. And depending on what Justice Hill's status is with the team, I'm still unsure of that. But would, I, I figured most people would bring back Devontae Freeman uh, over Latavius Murray Obviously over Le'Veon Bell Who's getting ready to play in what The divisional round but anyway um, And over Just yeah everybody else So so we'll see uh, What goes down with Devontae Freeman But with Nate McCrary He gives you somebody that is young And he also Gives you somebody And this is one of the Ravens favorite words Even though they won't use it but they use keywords that when, when, when teams put out, even not even teams, just people, period. When people use this keyword, it just means that they're cheap. When you hear, always hear them say the word value, 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 <laughs> that's, that's just another way of saying that you're cheap. That's it. Ain't nothing wrong with being cheap. 
Because I can be cheap. But it just, that, that's a fancy way of saying it. So um, Nate McCrary's contract, it, it has value to it. Get it? See? Uh, but yeah, this, this is a cheap contract. And again, just like with, um, with Kevon Seymour, how they signed him to a future deal uh, for next year. Same thing with Nate McCrary. They just signed him. So again, depth. Depth. Somebody that you know, knows your team, knows how y'all get down, knows how y'all operate. It's just depth. Straight up. And again, it's not going to be no crazy amount of guaranteed money. And this should not alter any um, any draft plans. It shouldn't change anything with free agency. Um, but again, you do. My guy Gold Morano brought it out like a month ago in a question from a subscriber that he sent uh, about J.K. and Gus Edwards. And he said, hey, we, we, we can't just, of course, we want them to come back the best that they can be and healthy and ready to go. But we can't just assume that they'll be back like that. Like when they come back, that everything, all right, all right, y'all boy, OK, let's run it. We can't just assume that stuff takes time. And hopefully we talked about in the previous video where a lot of players have said, hey, it's, it takes a, an extra year just to really get back all the way now we hope that they can not be of that timetable and we hope that they can get back to who they were i hope we hope they can adrian peterson this thing we know adrian peterson like and he's still going he's still going wow that that don't even make no sense but we hope that that's what happens with them they can have a bounce back and and their bounce back is almost even better than they were than, than before they got hurt so we'll see. But again, this Nate McCray serves as an insurance policy just in case. That's it. That's it. So um, the Ravens uh, running back room is going to be very interesting next year. Um, and I, I expect I expect Devontae Freeman to be back. Uh, but as w Tyson Williams, that's an interesting one right there, though. Tyson Williams, because I, I don't know, man. I don't even know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to think about his situation with the team. I, I just, I don't know where they are with him, what the relationship is. I, I just don't know. Now, if they are going to doghouse him like they did this year, next year, and I mean, you can't really anticipate these things because <laughs> you got to walk on eggshells when it comes to getting in that doghouse, man. But if they're going to do that, just let him go. We know his contract is cheap. Uh, explosive player. He had the fumbling. and Not even a fumbling issue. He did fumble a couple of times. The Ravens didn't lose either fumble, but he did lose one of them. But shout out to Devin Duvernay. That was his first touchdown of the season. We didn't think it would come like that, but hey, it happened. But um, he's got all that potential in the world. But if the Ravens, if they ain't going to use him and they just going to have him like cooped up, like locked up, and, and they threw away the key, you might as well just let him go. What's the point? And again, and what made it worse um, is that he was on the active roster. He was on the active roster. And with him being on the active roster, you just had him just sit, just sitting there, posted up. And it's like, why? Why? And that for your running game, you lacked explosiveness for a long time. And Devontae Freeman, again, he got more and more comfortable as the season went. But still, Tyson Williams showed you that explosiveness from jump. So, anyway, it is what it is, and it was what it was. Season done came and went, and the Ravens are, we all watching the playoffs from the crib. So, anyway, shout out to Nate McCrary. Welcome back to the crib. Welcome back to the home team. Welcome back. And, like, Nate McCrary officially isn't when it comes to being a Raven for the 2022 season. But well, he isn't out. Yeah, he isn't out with the team. Ah, that was a sloppy ending. I'm out.